Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to share with you guys my shopping experience in Hawaii. We visited Hawaii about two weeks ago. It was a spur of the moment trip and of course I have to go shopping there. So a couple of perks when you go shopping in Hawaii, um, the luxury stores to be specific, is you get, um, they pay for your taxes on some of the stores and um, for the luxury stores, they would cover your taxes and or I believe they get like about 10% um, on the, uh, over the ticket ticket price. I'm not 100% sure about that one, but I do know some stores will cover your sales tax. So without further ado, I just want to share with you guys some items that I actually purchased at the Louis Vuitton store and Dior. Um, it wasn't much items because I did not have space in my luggage, so I had to be careful. So first off, I want to start with this Kirigami. So this Kirigami, um, here in mainland, I believe this sells for $740. Um, and I purchased this in the Ala Moana um, Louis Vuitton. They, I got it for, I believe, $675, if I'm not mistaken. So the Kirigami is literally three different pouches. Um, I have been eyeing this out. I just never really pulled the trigger on it just because... Um, I just had way too many other things I wanted to purchase. So I waited until, Hey, I actually got a discount. So I didn't pay taxes for this. I paid the ticket price for this item right here. Um, again, when you guys go shopping in Hawaii, like the luxury stores, first of all, make sure that the item that you're getting are items that you actually want, not, um, something that, Hey, this looks good right now. Um, and I want to get it. So the reason why I say that is because when you buy something from the luxury stores in Hawaii, you will have a hard time, um, returning them in the mainland. So I had this experience. I believe I bought something from Gucci for, um, a friend of mine. Um, the first time I went to Hawaii back in 2019 and she didn't like the way the bag set, sat on her body and she ended up returning the purse at a store here in mainland. The problem is she had to pay more. She had to match the price here in mainland, pay for the taxes um, on top of that. So it she didn't really save anything. So when you buy something in Hawaii and the luxury boutiques, make sure that it's what you actually want, okay? Um, next piece is this black Louis Vuitton shirt. Um, again, this is an item that I've been also meaning to get for the longest time now. It's just here in the mainland, they don't really have my sizes. I wear size large. And usually this luxury stores carries small sizes. Don't know why. I've always had to order um, clothing to be delivered to the store. Um, and I actually fit men's better. So, But this I like. I like the gold rivets that they have. Um, again, I didn't pay taxes on this. And I believe the, ta the ticket price was also lower compared to here in the mainland. So... Um, Next one, I would go with perfume and then we'll start talking about this gorgeous bag behind me. <laughs> so this is their new perfume or fragrance collection. Um, I picked seller time. So this is another challenge I'm having here in mainland. I have been wanting to try this before I purchase it. Problem is you can't find it in any of the Louis Vuitton stores. Not all of them carries it. Specific stores that actually were given privilege to carry this perfume or this fragrance collection or line, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, a lot of the stores here in mainland I haven't seen um, that they carry this. I was able to purchase this bad boy at uh, the Waikiki um, Louis Vuitton. So um, you can, I think, easily buy this online. But I don't want to buy something if I don't like how it smells. So... Biggest reason why I actually wanted to get this is because of how gorgeous this bottle is. I mean, this is magnetic, that's magnetic, but I did love the Stellar Times scent. Um, yeah, like there was four other scents. I picked this one. I think there was two one, um, that I actually like. One of them kind of matches something I already have. So I was like, nah, we're not getting that. So um, this retails for 510 or $520. I didn't pay taxes for it, so I still saved some money on that. Um, and then, last but not the least, with the Louis Vuitton purchases, is this gorgeous purse. So this right here is the On My Side PM. Um, it's like a chestnut color. Um, 
look at the sides <laughs> they're so it's so pretty it's very fall winter vibe um this comes with a strap as well um yeah they only i think i believe they only had nine in um the whole world i think we checked see if we can get it elsewhere and yeah there was only nine um i finally i was able to get the one so yeah this is in the more pricier <laughs> range when it comes to louis vuitton um again i like pieces that are very unique um not everybody can get it not everybody has it um that's what i kind of was able to achieve with this capucine um is how unique this bag is not everybody can get this though when i actually purchased this it was literally the only one left in the whole world so i was able to snag it um but yeah i like pieces like that so, um bags that not everybody has um of course you know um that was pretty much all my lv purchases i literally had to hand carry this literally i had to use this bag on the plane because i couldn't fit any more in my luggage um moving on to dior i finally pulled the plug on some of the items i've been wanting to get from dior again they do they are cheaper as well so i bought some stuff that i've been wanting to get first off i got a little gift from the essay that helped me she was really awesome um honestly this is like a keychain of the shoes that i actually purchased oh no one of the shoes one of the new shoes that i purchased um and i will first go on with the jacket i bought okay no, my whole couch is falling apart right now um so this is a christian dior hoodie okay my husband has a blue one so i made sure i got a purple one this is a gorgeous color it, it's kind of hard to see right now but it's a really pretty color they don't have this here in the mainland i haven't seen this color i only see the ones that i bought him and it's like a navy no i, I think i got him like a really nice blue color I get an extra large in their hoodie member European sizing is just weird um, and yeah I don't I don't get it um, but yeah I get extra large so that hubby can also wear it so technically I can wear his jacket too um, and now it smells like him because he wore it today so yeah that's one of the other uh, items that I bought this was shipped to our house here because it would not fit anywhere else um, Next one is the true unboxing from Dior again. This is a pair of shoes that I have been wanting to get. So since it's a true unboxing, I'll go and, and unbox it for you guys, assuming that I can actually figure this out. I have never bought any shoes from Dior. Okay, we're not going to. Okay, so here's the content. This was honestly the socks that they give you in store for you to try on the shoes. I didn't use it because I already had socks on. It comes with the dust bag. So when you travel, you can use that. And then some extra shoelaces. Or that's probably what I need to put on. And then the actual shoes. So... <laughs> I got what is the name of this before I make a mistake I'm going to read it so this shoes right here is called the yeah, I'm not even gonna try to read that but it's this one's right here I mean <laughs> they're pretty they're so gorgeous yes they're like the Jordans um, but I mean come on they're so pretty. I actually think I would switch out. These are gray shoelaces. I would probably switch that out because it'll probably look really good. But yeah, that's the shoes that I bought. I am a size 39 in Dior. I'm normally a size 8 and I had to go up a size. Um, but yeah, this is the shoes that I got from them. So gorgeous. Like it's so pretty. Um, I have been wanting to get this <laughs> shoes, but again, I've never really pulled the plug. Now I had to found a reason to because it was cheaper. So 
yeah i just really wanted to share with you guys my shopping experience there like i said it sucks when you have to get the item shipped to your house it's because you gotta pay the taxes from where you're from whatever address you have you have to pay the taxes of it so if you are able to purchase it right there and then um it, like i said it sucks because sometimes you just don't have the space to do so which kind of kills why you're actually going shopping um it's because of the freaking taxes here in california is ridiculous so but yeah um honestly again this was probably my best purchase um and they didn't even get this in store here in san jose and i was able to snag one i'm very happy and hubby found that hubby was the one who spotted that on the shelves um he's really good at that so he also was the one who spotted this so anyways guys let me know if you have any questions about all the shopping craziness in hawaii um and if you guys are flying out there in the next couple of weeks ask me any questions about how the flying went i'm thinking of doing another um youtube video on the trip itself um see if i can actually find time to do that but yeah for now this is it let me know if you guys have any questions i'll try my best to answer them and yeah i'll talk to you guys soon bye